Hello, this is Sal. In today's video, we will have so many configurations to cover. We will configure IPsec VPN between ASA and a router. Also, we will configure SSH, DSCP snooping. I'll also configure uh, DSCP on the ASA. We will configure uh, zone-based firewall, AAA on a router and the ASA, NTP, with authentication and LAN security. Uh, on the description of this video, you will find two files, one for the packet tracer source files of this lab and also the walkthrough documents. It will walk you step by step uh, to do this lab. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and share the video and give me the thumb up. Here in this network, uh, this topology diagram, the only two things I configured, just the uh, uh, IP configurations for PCC here, the IP address, uh, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS. And also here on uh, the server, which is configured as DNS, NTP, syslog uh, server. So now I'll start with router 1, configuring everything from scratch. Enable, configure terminal, hostname router 1 now on the interface facing the ASA of gig 01 IP address of 10.1.1.2 slash 30 subnet mask and open the port now the interface facing the server on gig 00 IP address of 8.8.8.1 slash 24 subnet mask and also open the port and then the interface facing router 3 serial 000 on IP address of 10.2.2.1 slash 30 subnet mask and open the port here uh, as for router 1 I will configure a static route from router 1 to this LAN here and another static route to the LAN in this side. So back to router 1, exit, IP route to 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And uh, for the router to reach this network here, this will be its gateway on 10.1.1.1. 10.1.1.1 and the other IP route to the other network on 172.16.10.0 slash 24 subnet mask and to reach this network this will be the next stop or the gateway for router 1 to reach this network on 10.2.2.2 Next, I will configure uh, router 3, enable, configure terminal, uh, interface facing uh, router 1 on serial 000, IP address of 10.2.2.2 slash 30 subnet mask and open the port and the other interface. Uh, on this side here on the gig 00 IP address of uh, 172.16.10.1 slash 24 subnet mask and enable the port open the port with no shot as for uh, router 3 to reach any network uh, this side here on the serial 000, it will be its next stop or the gateway for this network to reach any other network. So on router 3, I will configure a default route, IP route, uh, to any network with this subnet mask, and the next stop will be on 10.2.2.1. Now, uh, 
Uh, let's see uh, here from PCC if we can ping uh, the server, the server on 8.8.8.8. Ping 8.8.8.8. It should be successful. And sure, we did. And let's see if we can access it with the web browser. Uh, CCNA security.com and sure enough we can now on router 3 I will configure SSH back to router 3 first uh, configure the domain name as CCNA security.com and configure the key crypto key generate RSA uh, please uh, define a host name. Okay, uh, host name router three crypto key generate RSA, and we want the size of this key to be a thousand twenty four. Now, and also we want uh, to use version 2, so IP SSH version 2 on router 3. Also configure a name, a username, username as admin1 and secret password admin1. I'm using this for simplicity to do this lab. Now I'll configure AAA for authentication. Uh, enable AAA new model on the router. And now uh, I will use the local database as a default setting for authentication. AAA authentication for login use the default local. Uh, for the line VTY uh, from 0 to 15, all 16 lines. Okay. Also, login synchronous and login authentication uh, default and use only SSH on this uh, router. Now, uh, to enable uh, syslog on the server, the server will act as DNS, NTP, and syslog. This server is acting as DNS, NTP, syslog. Exit from here. We want to log everything to the host and the IP address of this host for the syslog server is 8.8.8.8. .8 on the server, uh, on the NTP here, under the service tab, go to NTP. I already configured the authentication, enabled the authentication on the server with key one and the password of Cisco. So now back to the, to the router. NTP authentication key uh, one MD5. Uh, of, and the password of Cisco. NTP authenticate. And NTP, the trusted key is one. And the server of 8.8.8.8 .8 and with the key one. NTP update the calendar. Next, we are done here with the router 1 and router 3, so let's do some configuration on the ASA. So here, when you first start ASA, just type enable, no password, just simply hit enter. And count P, I'll configure the host name of ASA for this device. Now, I'll configure the domain name as CCNA Security. 
So domain name CCNA security security.com and uh, also uh, enable password uh, of Cisco on the ASA. Next, I'll configure a AAA to use a local database for SSH user authentication for console access. AAA authentication SSH console uh, local. Next, we need to add a user to the local database for administrator console access. Username. I'll use username of admin and a password also of admin on the ASA. Admin1. 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 Next, we will configure ASA to accept SSH connections from hosts on the inside LAN. The inside LAN of 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So the command goes like this, SSH 192.168.1.0 slash 24, submit mask, and this we want it for the inside network. Next, I will configure the ASA interfaces. Uh, now enter VLAN 1 on the ASA, name it inside, uh, security level of 0, and the IP address of 192.168.1.1. Two five five two five five two five five dot zero. No shot. Uh, and now for the interface of E, uh, this interface here, interface of E zero one zero slash one. Uh, switch port access. VLAN 1. No shot. Now for VLAN 2, uh, enter VLAN 2, name if outside, a security level of 0. Should we configure the security level? For uh, and the inside, we configured it for zero, and the same for outside for the zero. IP address <coughs> for me ten dot one dot one dot one slash thirty subnet mask. No shot. Now for the interface of E uh, zero zero a switch port uh, access VLAN two no shot and exit from here. Next, I will configure a default route on the ASA for the outside. So route outside for any network with this subnet mask. And for the ASA device, this will be its default gateway on 10.1.1.2. 10.1.1.2. And Next, uh, I will generate RSA key pair to support the SSH connection. So the command goes like this, crypto key uh, generate RSA modulus and the size of the key 1024. And yes. Uh, next, we will uh, I'll configure ASA as the SCP server. So the command goes like this: DHCPD address, and create the pool one nine two one six eight dot one dot ten two one nine two one six eight dot one dot twenty. One nine two one six eight one dot ten. 20 and this is for the inside
DSCPD uh, DNS, which is 8.8.8.8, and it is on the inside interface. Now for DHCP option, I'll choose option 3 with IP address of 192.168.1.1, and this is also in the interface inside. Now, to enable it for the inside network. Uh, inside. Next, uh, I will work on the switches. We have two switches here on this network, switch one and switch two. Uh, so on switch one, Enable configure terminal hostname SW1 enter VLAN 1 uh, IP address of 192.168.1.20 slash 24 subnet mask no shut and for the default gateway of 192.168.1.1 I'll do the same on switch 2 configure VLAN 1 uh, enable configure terminal the host name of SW2 enter VLAN 1 and the IP address for VLAN 1 on switch 2 192.168.1.22 slash 24 subnet mask and then the Configure the default gateway of 192.168.1.1. Next, we will configure the trunks, the two trunks here between switch 1 and switch 2. But first, I'll create VLAN 10 and name it as native on the switches. VLAN 10, name uh, native. Now, the the range of the two ports, interface range, gig 0, 1, and, and uh, 2, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 10. And I'll do the same on switch 2, uh, VLAN 10, create VLAN 10 first and name it native. And do the two ports together, the two trunks, gig 0, 1, and 2, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 10. Next, I will configure the switch 1 as a primary, the root primary for VLAN 1, and switch 2 as the, uh, the root secondary for VLAN 1. So in switch 1, exit from here, and the command goes like this, uh, spanning 3 for VLAN 1. On switch 1, it's the root primary. And jump to switch 2, exit from here, spanning 3, for VLAN 1 on switch 2, it will be the root secondary. Uh, command rejected bad VLAN list. Spanning 3 for VLAN 1. Uh, root secondary. Next, I will set uh, the LAN security on the switches. So go. Uh, we have here on switch uh, one. We have port F010 connecting PCA to the switch, and the same. We have the port of F010 connecting connecting PCB to the switch. So. I'll configure the interface of F010 on switch 1. Uh, 
switchboard mode access switchboard access vlan one now to enable uh, for security switchboard for security on the switch switchboard for security maximum one switchboard for uh, for security mac address sticky and in case of violation to shut down the port also i'll configure ports fast on the port and also enable the ppd uh, go i'll do the same on switch 2 interface f0 10 switch port uh, mode access switch port access vlan 1 now enable port security switch port port security maximum 1 switch port port security mac address sticky and just in case of a violation to shut down the Spanning three ports fast on this port and spanning three uh, PPDU guard to be enabled. Now on switch two, we have this port, this connection up zero one connected to ASA. We want it to be the port that we trust with IP addresses from the ASA. So on switch two, exit here so first we need to enable dhcp snooping ip dhcp snooping so now we have it enabled so now onto the interface f01 ip dhcp snooping trust switch port mode access switch port access vlan one now on switch one and switch two we have these two ports gig zero one gig zero two on the switch we want to then this also to be trusted so go on the switch one i will not be able to do both of them together so i'll do them individually interface gig zero one ipd scp snooping a trust and the other interface of gig 02 IPD SCP snooping also to trust it. Do the same on uh, switch 2 interface gig 01 IPD SCP snooping trust and the other interface interface gig 02 IPD snooping also trust now on uh, pca click on pca go to the desktop tab here under the ip configuration icon here ip configuration this dhcp radio button to click that to see if it's gonna get an ip address and it did and we will do the same with the switch p a b I click on desktop IP configuration icon and then the SCP and it's receiving its IP address from the ASA which we configured it as a DSCP server now let's verify connectivity on the network we will run pings from PCA and PCB to the server so on PCA I will uh, ping the server on 8.8.8.8 .8 should be successful and it is and let's try PCB uh, let's use the web browser here by the name CCNA security and it's successful 
and the C also on PCA. So we can access it by the IP address using the web 8.8.8.8. And yes, we are on PCB. Let's try to pin PCA or PCB. Ping 192.168.1.10. Yes, we can. And let's run a trace route. Trace RT to PCB 1.11. And we have, as you can see, four hops. First, this interface, then to router 1 from the ASA, and then to the uh, PCB. Uh, now, we will configure VPN on uh, the router. So before we do that on the router, I will run this command to see if the security package has been enabled on the router. Admin1 and the password admin1 enabled. And the command goes like this, show version. And as you can see, for security package has been disabled, so let's run it. Uh, Conf T, license, boot, module, C1900, technology package, and security k Yes. And here, we can either, we need to save it uh, from the running to the startup, either type copy running config start up config or simply type wr you know just pass it confirm it and now reload and to confirm confirm the reload and we will run the command again to see if in in it uh, username admin1 password of admin1 Enable, show version, and it has been enabled. So now let's uh, uh, work on uh, the IPsec VPN on router 3. Today is really hot here in Dallas. So configure terminal. We would create an ISACAM policy. ISACAM policy priority will choose number 10. Authentication type, uh, we want to choose uh, pre share, encryption, AES, cache algorithm, SHA, development group, key exchange, five. <coughs> so the command goes like this crypto ISACAM uh, policy 10. Authentication, pre-share, encryption, AES, uh, cache, SHA, Diffie Holman Group, 5, and lifetime of 70,000. Exit. So now we will configure the pre-share key as Cisco. The destination address would be 10.1.1 on the ASA device on the interface facing router 1. So the command goes like this crypto ISACAM key of Cisco and the address of 10.1.1.1. Next, we will configure the IPsec transform set. And the tag would be VPN set, ESP transform, ESP AES, hash function, ESP SHA HMAC. The command go like this, crypto, IPsec, transform set, VPN set, ESP AES, ESP SHA HMAC. 
Uh, next, we will create a crypto map. The name of the crypto map I'll call C map with caps, sequence number of 10, type IPsec, ISEC camp, access control list to match VPN uh, uh, 101, and the peer is 10.1.1.1. Transform set VPN set. So the command goes like this crypto map C map all caps 10 IPsec ISEC. Now set the peer of 10.1.1.1 and set transform set VPN set and match address uh, with the access list of 101. Next, we will define interesting traffic. As we said, access list is 101. The source will be 172.16.10.0 slash 24 inverse subject mask and the destination of 192.168.1.0 slash 24 inverse subnet mask so exit from here ip uh, access list extended 101 now permit ip from the source 172.16.10.0 with the inverse subnet mask of this and the destination will be 192.168.1.0 with the inverse subnet mask of slash 24. Enter. Next, we will apply the crypto map to the interface. We want to apply it here on this interface of router 3. Here. So back to router 3. Uh, exit from here. And interface serial 000. zero, zero. Crypto map, C map, all caps. Now we will do the same on the ASA. We'll configure the side to side VPN between the ASA and router 3. First, we'll create the ISAC camp policy. So now let's work on the ASA. Crypto IKEV1 which stands for Internet Key Exchange, but uh, I'll work, call it ICAV1. ICAV1, policy 10, authentication, pre-share, encryption, AES, hash, SHA, uh, group, Deputy Holman, 5, and lifetime, of 70,000 as we configured it on router 3 and here we will exit then crypto ICAV enable for the outside and now the tunnel group of 10.2.2.2 which is the peer tunnel group uh, type uh, IP6 L2F. Not to worry about this warning, it's just a warning. Now, and now a tunnel group IP6 tunnel. Uh, sorry, yeah, tunnel group uh, 10.2.2.2. Uh, IPsec attributes. Now, I have one pre-shared key as we created it on router 3 of Cisco. And we exit from here. Now it's time to configure the transform set. And the command goes like this. G crypto IPsec I have one transform set VPN set ESB AES ESB HMAC. Enter. 
Next, we will create the map. Now, a crypto map caps C map 10 set peer on the peer is 10.2.2.2. .2 .2. Now we'll create the transform set crypto map C map all caps 10 set I kev I kev one transform set VPN set enter. Next we will create two network objects to identify internal network and the remote network so the command goes like this object network and we will call it local uh, net or network the subnet of 192.168.1.0 with slash 24 subnet mask we created the local exit from here configure terminal uh, now we need to create for the object network for the remote uh, remote uh, network and on the subnet of 172.16.10.0 slash 24 subnet mask <clears throat> exit from here now let's verify uh, sorry before that uh, configure terminal now we will set the access list sorry access list access list uh 101 extended permit ip from the object of local network to the object of the remote network uh enter now it's time to match the access control list and the command goes like this crypto map c map caps 10 to match uh, address the access control list of 101 enter now crypto map c map the interface of outside enter <coughs> exit from here now let's see if we can do some things but before that I will okay let's just run the ping from PCC to uh, PCA ping 192.168.1.10 Let me see if we I can get around this uh, exit interface serial zero 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 shut and no shut and I'll do the same on here configure terminal interface T zero zero shut and no shut. Let's see if this will take care of the issue or if it's a bug in packet tracer. I'm waiting for this to turn green on the E00.
now on PCC, run the ping again. Ping 172.16.10.2 